lesson is inspired by some listening I've been doing to the classic John Coltrane Quartet with McCoy Tyner. Um, recordings I've been listening to a lot, Transition, uh, Live at the Half Note, uh, and of course Love Supreme, all some of my favorite recordings. And I think where McCoy Tyner does some of his best, um, most interesting, modern, outside, chromatic, highly energetic playing. Um, I just really enjoy it. So I thought, why not um, write out a little melody um, that I could work on inspired by that sort of playing. So if you missed uh, the melody in the opening improvisation, which should be easy to do, let me just play it for you again a little bit slower. classic McCoy Tyner. So uh, what we're going to really focus on looking at in this lesson is just the right hand. And for now we're going to kind of leave the left hand voicings alone um, for another lesson. But I did write out uh, left hand voicings for this um, so you could have something to play along with the right hand. So let's keep in mind during our analysis um, that this is all happening over a D minor vamp. Like what we would have on the tune So What or Impressions, another John Coltrane tune. D minor, D Dorian, however you want to think of it. Okay. So our right hand starts off with a series of descending uh, pentatonic sort of digital patterns is what I would call them. Right. So what we start on here is what I would think of as a C major pentatonic, but you could also think of it as A minor, of course. So just to review what a pentatonic scale is, it's based on the major scale, and it contains the first, second, third, fifth, and sixth notes of the major scale. Okay, so if we were thinking in C major, our one, two, three, five, six would be there. But we're only going to be using the first five notes for the beginning part of this um, line. So what we have is one, two, five, three, one, two. Then we're going to play the same thing, transpose down a whole step to B flat. And then we're going to go down a whole step again, and we're going to be thinking A flat pentatonic or F minor pentatonic. Then when we get to here, we're going to do a descending triplet, jump up a fifth, still within the scale, jump up a fourth, still within the scale descending. Right? I think I added an extra note there. right back in our D minor tonality. So let's look at how those um, pentatonics work against the left hand voicings. So we start off with this very characteristic um, of McCoy Tyner, this open fifth, D and A, key of D minor or D Dorian. Okay, so that C major pentatonic or A minor pentatonic fits right within that scale. We got the seventh and the ninth and the eleventh and the root, all great chord tones. to the B flat, we're getting a little further outside of the chord. Played it wrong again. Not too outside because these three notes still belong within the scale. Um, they sound just fine. That B flat you know, takes us a little outside. And then we're going to go all the way outside when we reach this chord. So let's listen to that final chord against the D pedal. What we're doing is we're suspending the harmony with this, what I would consider like an F minor 11 chord, or you could just think F minor over D. And we're going from here to the resolution back to the D. So what we're really doing is taking the tonality of D minor and taking it out or up a minor third from D to F, but while maintaining the D pedal. So we're in D. So it's kind of, um, it's our way of having harmonic resolution uh, within a modal tune. Because normally we'd have, you know, two five ones, B 
you hear that perfect resolution to the one chord. But in modal tunes, when we're sticking on just one chord, sometimes it's hard to sort of have that resolution. Um, and one way you can create uh, tension and resolution is by taking the tonality out um, in half steps, minor thirds, um, tritones. You can experiment all over the place. But what I've done in this line is taken it out um, a minor third. So we've got basically three pentatonic scales going on within there. We've got the C, B flat, and A flat, all descending with whole tones. And you could actually go down, keep going down, you could go G flat. But it gets kind of cheesy and repetitive after a while. Okay? So here's a lick one more time, probably about the full tempo that you might want to go. So once you feel comfortable with that, I would suggest you start improvising around those um, tonalities using the chords that I've suggested. So when you're playing the first two chords, you can improvise with the C major pentatonic or the B flat if you want to take the little outside. Then every once in a while, go to the F minor, the last chord in it, and improvise with the A flat or F minor pentatonic scale. Practice going back from the D minor tonality to the F minor tonality. You'll kind of get a feel for what McCoy was doing while he was improvising with John Coltrane. Playing in C. Start going in B flat. just switching between the three different tonalities that we worked on, the C major pentatonic, the B flat pentatonic, and the A flat pentatonic. And the thing you want to keep in mind is it's probably best to go up to that last F minor sort of chord when you're playing the A flat pentatonic because it does sound a little strange playing this voice in the end. This scale. Although it's, you know, it's not that strange. Uh, it could be something you could do if you really want to push the limits of the harmony. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I do come out with new videos every single week, so if that's something you might be interested in, please feel free to subscribe. Also, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave a comment below or send me a message. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys and see what you're thinking and answer any questions you might have. Thanks for watching.